right, hi guys, back again. Okie doke, thought we'd do today, we do a collection vid. A, because it's kind of easy, and B, I haven't done one in a while, I want to do one. So I thought today we'd do my DS collection. So, I have two DS, I have a standard original DS, which I imported from Japan um, before it came out in the UK. And it has its box, though I don't know where I've placed it at the moment. But it's kind of small. It kind of shocked me to see the, like, the British box because it was so big. And then just recently I have bought a DSi. This is the Japanese model again. And this is a blue one. Dark blue, which is the reason I bought it. Because I didn't like the look of the black or the white ones that they were selling here. Now the only issue with that is with the original DS you could switch it to English language and it was fine, it would do everything. The DSi is region locked for DSi games and therefore it's all in Japanese and you cannot change the language. Though it's not so bad really because all the games play in English and most of the DSi stuff is fairly text it doesn't have that much text at all, so it's not too much of a deal, big deal at the moment. Um, been really wanting to get some more DSi games. So there's a few little really look good looking ones that came out uh, maybe in the last two weeks or something. So I may go and do a little bit of a download. I have two games for the DSi uh, store, which are both PictoLife ones. One's the puzzle with they have to make the cubes. And that's a really good one. It's starting to get really addicted to that one. And the other one was the one with the huge... I'd have to actually show it to make sense, but it's like a lot of colours keep on coming down and you have to put the block out to stop it. So it actually takes that and it makes pixels up at the top of like different Nintendo games. I may have to do a video of that to show you what I mean because it's probably a bad description. All right, two minutes in and I've already got for that. Okay, so the first game is... From a center under the knife. I really like this game. It's quite different. It was like using the DS guy, the DS controls really well to use like different scalpels and stitches and everything. I just when the viruses start to come in, you had to laser them and then fix them, and then I started to get really. I found it really difficult, and then never went back to it, which I probably should do. But every time I try it, I get frustrated. Okay, next game, the new Super Mario Brothers. Also another very, very good game. Um, I, I really like playing for the 2D platformer Mario games, which is why I'm really looking forward to the Wii version of that. Because I think that will be ace. And um, it's quite good. It's not as good as my favourite one, which is Mario Brothers 3 on NES, which I haven't got for my Famicom yet. So that might be one that I'm getting soon. Uh, this next one is Mario Kart DS. And why is that moving? Oh, Yoshi's Island's inside it. Why? I do not know. Um, but I, Mario, what can you say? Mario Kart DS is probably the best version of Mario Kart there is. Um, best controls, best online options. I I just really love that game. It's got a great lot of stuff to unlock, and it just is really good. All right, next game, puzzle game, Meteos. Now, I I had a great trouble trying to find the patterns for this and trying to figure out what it was doing. It was alright at the first level, but when they started to speed it up and everything on different levels and different gravities and such, I started to have real issues with it and found it quite difficult. I usually find if a game frustrates me for too long, I'll stop playing it. And that's probably why it is. Ah, here's your shit and Poco Mystery. I keep putting the games in the wrong boxes. This is not good. I have to go look through these afterwards. Right, next game. This Yoshi's Island DS. 
Now I really like this game. This game is actually a lot harder than the original Yoshi's Island, which is saying a lot. Um, I really like that you have like the baby Donkey Kong, baby Wario, baby Peach. It was a really, really good game. Uh, lots of different power-ups. The levels are really well designed. It takes good thing on both the dual screens of the DS to do it. Just a really good game overall. Right. This is my American copy of Super Mario 64 DS, which I got with my original DS. I didn't really play that much of 64, to be fairly honest. I was really into the mini games, especially the Bob on Battlefield one, the one with the slingshot. I used to be addicted to playing that game. Oh, I had hours and hours when I first got my DS playing that game. Um, the controls for the actual 64 are a bit of a annoyance and it's probably why I don't usually it's like it was one of the things that really showed that the DS should have had a 3D stick if you were going to try and do those type of games and since then nothing's really come out that would ever need that and it's basically found its own market of what games are really work in the system all right next game I bought this in Canada last year when I was out there in Vancouver so this is Final Fantasy 4 on the DS. Uh, another really, really good game. I never really played the original Final Fantasy 4 on the SNES. I didn't have a SNES when I was a kid, so I had a Mega Drive. And I don't think I'd even got Final Fantasy 2 even came out here anyway, regardless. But um, it's really good as far as I've played it. It is really, really good. I started to get into Chrono Trigger more, so I haven't gone, been back to it in a while. But it, it, graphics are really good, especially for the uphole. And a lot of the voice acting is really good. A lot of the character development is really, really good. So it's a really, really good game. All right. Next one, Pokemon Diamond. This is an American copy. This. You see how I get all these American copies? This was A, because it came out earlier. B, it was actually cheaper to buy American than buy it British. I had a site, it's called Yes Asia and not Play Asia. And it was basically, um, it's a really good import site for games and that, apart from Sony stuff. Because Sony's an idiot. Right. Um, it's like this idiot and importing stuff. They stop anything coming into Europe, so you can't import any Japanese games or Japanese uh, consoles, Sony consoles, which is really, really annoying. The only place you can get it on eBay, and it's, then it's extortionate. So, I used to get these off this Yes Asia, and it used to be like a tenner cheaper, and you'd have free postage and customs so you wouldn't even have to worry about that and the delivery times were not that bad at all so this is why I used to get games off there really cheap and I used to just get the American versions so I Pokemon is pretty damn decent it's I haven't really got into it it's like I got into the other ones I was really big on red it wasn't so much on silver I got fairly far through it but not as much and then what was the ones before? Um, sa um, I Sapphire. I had Sapphire and I really liked Sapphire. I went around trying to find all the hidden Pokemon in the Sapphire. I, I got addicted to it. It was, it was good, that one. And this was very much in the same ilk as it. But really good game. As I mentioned before, Chrono Trigger. What can you say about Chrono Trigger? It is just plain awesome. It's the game I've been playing at the moment. Well, that's actually a lie. I've been playing Tetris, but that's on another DS. And it's been, oh. I was having a look at Gamer Pigeon's video about DS games, and he was going on about how he completed marathon mode, and now he's doing a limited mode. I was like, I've never done marathon mode. Never mind a limited, but I did marathon. I completed marathon mode today. But I right, buy Chrono Trigger. It's awesome. Right, second one, Zelda, Fire Glass. I really liked it. There's a lot of people that said they couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into Twilight Princess. 
this was the one I got into. I was addicted to this when I bought it. It was really, really good. Controls are really fluid. Looking really forward to Spirit Tracks. Right, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Eh, it was alright, but not that great to be fairly honest. Very hard to get into. I think if you're like into these dungeon crawler kind of games, it'd be alright, but apart from that, meh. Mr. Drill Drill Spirits. It's alright. Bought it when I got the DS came out in the UK. It wasn't that great, to be fairly honest. It's pretty good. Just, I'm crap at it. Like a lot of games. <laughs> right. Uh, Sonic Rush. Really, really good platformer. Big fan of Sonic games. So, I'm always happy with that. And last one with 10 seconds to go. Right. Jump Ultimate Stars. From Japan. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome game. Lots of anime characters. Buy that game. Okay. Evil Soft.